drink some bread. Raise your hand. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, take two, okay? Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the best the best of 2015. I have been so excited to do this video. This is going to be a long video, so you probably wanna pick up your latte, your drink. I got my drink. Cheers. Grab something to eat because it's gonna be a long one, okay? Y'all know best of 2015 is gonna be a long video. I have not talked about this, but I use this a lot, even on my clients whenever I'm doing makeup, but I have used this before, and this is the Embryo Lease. This is the Cream Concentrate. This is amazing. It works like a moisturizer, um, it works like a moisturizer and a primer together. So if I'm running late and I need something that's going to like prime and moisturize my skin, I love this. It's amazing. I have been killing this and I, it's worth being in the best of 2015 because I'm going to get this because it's an anti-aging moisturizing primer. And since I'm going into primers, I might as well use this. I talk about this. I love this. It reminds me a lot of my Hangover RX, which is another primer that I have been loving this year or in 2015. I love these two. They remind me so much of each other. Let's talk about Radiant Primers. I have been loving these two. And this is Drugstore and this is high end. This is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. You guys have seen me use and make concoctions. If you are oily, this is a great one to use with your mattifying if you want that luminous look, but you don't want the oiliness because of moisturization in a primer, then this is a great one to mix with your with your foundation. In terms of radiance, I actually really do like this as well. This is the Makeup Forever Radiant Primer love this this i use for radiant skin if i want that dewy look so i want to talk about two color correcting products that i have been loving for the year this one i knew about the dark circle concealer correct concealer corrector by nyx love this i have like a backup of this it's that peach love this love it it's amazing but y'all this eve pearl Mama is getting another one. I do have dark circles and I have those under eye, I have under eye puffiness. So I'm going to invest in eye creams and color correctors. So this is amazing. I'm picking it up during eye mats. Yes, Lord. I want to use it as a tambourine. It's so good. Let's go to concealers because after color correcting, we want to do concealers because that's what goes on our face next, right? So the ones that I have been pulling for nonstop only have been these two, and that is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's pricey, but it's amazing. This is in the color Ginger, and I also use Biscuit sometimes, but Ginger is the best, okay? Then also the HD, this is works like a high-end, and this is a dupe, I want to say, to the, my naked skin. <sighs> this one is so good. Give a shout out to my sling... <sighs> To my Tarte Clean Slate 360 Creaseless. I talked about this in the beginning of the year and it's still one of my favorite primers on my eye, under my eye. So eye primer, boom. Okay, let's, so let's talk about under eye setting powders. I love this e.l.f. Height Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. Amazing. I also, y'all, my NYX. I have not talked about these under eye, but I always, I have been grabbing and always dipping my brush into these two, the end. I have been loving the HD finishing powder in the color banana. This is so finely milled. It is worth the coins. I would pay more than what it's, than the price, but it's amazing. This is a Vanars. It has the longest name, but it is the best satin powder setting powder. This is the light reflecting setting powder pressed in translucent crystal. And I'm about to cry because <gasps> I hit pan, but it y'all, it just, y'all see that? 
Okay, it has a light reflecting. I've talked about this. It has a light reflecting technology. I have the flawless finish, like how to set, how to highlight and set your powder for a flawless crease, for a flawless creaseless look. I have a video on that and I use this along with the Radiant Creamy Concealer. This just gives me life. Okay, so on to foundations. My Laneige BB Cushion. I did a review on this. Another shout out I have to give is my CC Cream Stick from Stila. I love it because it color corrects if you have any redness. The green cancels it out, but this I would say for normal to dry skin, I don't know if this would be good for oily skin, but I actually have it in two colors because I can highlight and contour with both of them. But nothing tops my, this is my favorite foundation stick. I did a review on it. Anything that I've done a review on it, I'll make sure to link it in this video, but this is amazing. This is like, this is worth the the nettos and the coins this is in the color y4 that's the only thing i don't like about this is i can never find the color same why it's the same thing as my foundation but i will link it down below i did do a review on this love this foundation stick so giorgio armani luminous silk and number nine it's worth the money this is the most that i've paid for a foundation so special occasions, I did this look. If uh, I have not, um, if it's not up on my channel, it definitely will be, but I did use this foundation. It's amazing. If you want a glow, if this is like special occasion makeup, seriously. I don't pull it out every day, but y'all, it's amazing. I highly suggest the Born This Way Foundation by Too Faced. This stuff is amazing. Amazing. This is Que lastima. Holy Grail, well, I got a backup of this. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper. Love this. It's not a felt tip, it's just a whole bunch of brushes and a fine tip. I love this. I remember one time I even had on lashes and everything and I was able to go in. You can, it's so easy to go in after putting on lashes to hide that lash line. It's gorgeous. I used my NYX eyeliner today and holy grail, it's $3 from the drugstore, but it's always like, it's always out of stock. But if you can't find that, pick up the NYX. This is the liquid black liner. To me, this is like a dupe to it. Seriously. Same. I was like, I used this in my Makeup Forever tutorial. This is the waterproof glide on eyeshadow stick. This is the Aquamatic. This is in black. I'm definitely picking up some more of these. I use this as an eyeliner in my tutorial and not necessarily an eyeshadow. It would be a great eyeshadow base, but, or you could use this before you lay down if you wanted to do a smoky look, but it was amazing eyeliner. Becca Opal, love this. Mm, so pretty. One of my favorite highlights and y'all i just gotta you just can't go into becca opal and like not touch up that's just not doable unacceptable another one i have been using and i love is the maker forever profusion this i love this this is in the color 30m was that it 30m yeah, this is a bronzer and it kind of fell out so I gotta hold it like this. But I love it because you cannot go overboard with this but it feels so beautiful. I love it, it does tend to have an orangey tone but I like that because it warms the skin. This would be perfect for my brown beauties as well. I also love the e.l.f. This one is one of my most pigmented. I use this in my top, I actually mentioned this in my top five. This is in the color Beach Bronze by e.l.f. My top five favorite foundation. No, top five, top five favorite bronzers. And it's more of a cool tone, so you can actually use this to contour as well. 
as bra. My NYX matte bronzer in deep tan and also my Too Faced in dark chocolate. This is the dark chocolate Soleil and this is the deep tan. Now, of course, we love the Willy Wonka Too Faced one a lot better because this one is a little bit, this one is a little bit more, this one is a little bit more red tone though to me. But who doesn't like chocolate? So you know which one I'm gonna say I love. The chocolate, so like. Oh, another bronzer I have been loving is my NARS Laguna. It reminds me of my Benefit Hula, but I just been reaching for this in the, in 2015 just because I think it's in this palette. I did pick up, this was from last Christmas. This is the NARS Virtual Domination. The, there's the Steve Klein this year, but the colors to me are a lot like, it's a lot, they're the same to me. So I love this highlight in here though too. It's Miss Liberty, but these two colors I have been loving. I have been dipping into this pink one as well, but these two colors, which is Deep Throat, it's a little bit more pink to me than Orgasm, and this is Final Cut. Now, I love the baked blushes, but I am definitely hooked on these powder blushes by Milani. This is Coral Cove, and this is Awakening Rose. I love these both so, so much. Also, I love this Physician's Formula. This is probably my favorite highlighter from the drugstore. I still do love the Hard Candy one, but from the drugstore, I love this because I can do a pink highlight, I can do a gold, I can do an opal, I can mix them all to make different different highlights. This is probably my favorite one. It's probably the most expensive from the drugstore too because Physician's Formula is not cheap. A creamy one that's a great as a base is the Benefit What's Up. I just love this because it gives off kind of like a pink, goldish reflect. But I love this. I love this benefit. And I love, I have two of the small ones. I'm gonna get the big one, but I love using this because they're for travel. I love that it also dries cream to powder. Such a beautiful highlight. Brow pencil, you can't go anywhere without these two to me. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Soft Brown, love. I have a backup to this. This is the sound that everyone hates. Because it means that the pencil is gone. So sad. And my brow fix, which I love. I use this along with this. And I've seen Anastasia, especially on her Snapchat, she will take this and this and go in with her brows. I've been using that method and I absolutely love it. You're going to see, I'm, I did do a brow tutorial, but I use the Browsings by Benefit and I use the same technique and I absolutely love it. It lays down the hairs while you're actually going in with the powder and filling it in. So I do love these Anastasia products for brows. This is how much I love lights, camera lashes. And I have a little small one. I think I have like three or four of these. But this is one of my favorite high-end mascaras. It just it just makes my lashes like my wisp, like these wispies. Another one is my Benefit Roller Lash. I love this, especially for my bottom lashes. This is life for the bottom lashes. And it's because of that small brush and it bends, this is amazing. Ugh, amazing. This is the Aqua Extravagant. This is the waterproof, but I also like the regular formula. This is amazing. And I think it's because, not only because of the formula, but the brush is amazing. It will give you that Demi Wispy look because it goes from like small to large, which means that it will like, be smaller in the inner corner, and then once it gets to the outer corner of your lash, it flares out. So we get, it, this is so beautiful. Here it is, the waterproof and the regular by Maker Forever. If I had to choose one lip pencil, it would be OCC's color in Trick, in the color Trick. I feel like this is one of the best neutrals ever. Look at that. 
it could go with a red or it could go with a warm or cool tone lip it's what i use today and i love it on a serious note these essence lip pencils are comparable to mac pro Longwear pencils to me seriously these are the cheapest most underestimated creamy from formula ever this one is number 12 wish me a rose which it looks coral it does not look rose but y'all this creamy consistency is crazy had more colors but i would so fill in my lip with satin rose satin mauve these are so pretty. I have, I think, two or three more of these. I think I have all of the colors, but this, these are so worth the money. $1.50. I also love the, I have been rocking this Rock and Rose from Jordana. It's just such a pretty neutral. It's like a brown right there. It's like a brown creamy color. I love retractable pencils. Go to lipsticks. One of my favorites is Damage by NARS, and I think this is from their regular line. Um, and this is a satin finish, or it's like a cream sheen, but it's such a pretty, like, y'all know I love my mauves. Such a pretty, like, lipstick. That's in the color Damage. Of my favorite lipsticks of all time, I kid you not, is Chanel color. In, in the color Janine. I talked about this in my, I think, February favorites. It's such a hydrating formula. And Chanel, let's just say, the Chanel lipstick smells so good. It's just such a creamy color. That is Janine right there. So pretty. I wanna get more of the Too Faced lipsticks. These are the La Creme. This is in Honey Bear. This is like by far one of my favorite lipsticks. And it is so creamy and hydrating. The, these are hydrating like the Chanel. Chanel is probably the most hydrating lipstick that I've ever tried that's so beautiful on the lips. But Too Faced, these two are very, very, very close. And the Audacious lipsticks. But I would still say Chanel then the Too Faced, and then the Audacious Lipsticks in terms of hydrating. If you have dry lips, these are wonderful formulations to try. Milani lipsticks are amazing. Yes, we know. But my favorite of all time is Rose Femme. This is such a pretty color. So pretty. It's like a bluish. <sighs> smells so good it's hydrating I would say these Chanel Too Faced and NARS audacious lipsticks are the most hydrating lipsticks that I've ever tried this would probably be this is definitely on the list but this is definitely Rose Femme is my favorite Milani lip color hands down I love new cream and teddy bear but Rose Femme love it and I'm so sad because I knew I was forgetting something and I forgot my palette case today in the studio. So I am going to mention some that I don't have right in front of me, but I have talked about it in another video and I will link it in this video as well. But I have to talk about these palettes. I'm gonna pull the first one that I actually used on my eyes today in conjunction with another MAC eyeshadow, but I use the Carly by Bell palette. This to me is one of the most, I don't wanna say underrated, but I feel like this should be worth more than $12.50. If I was into sales and marketing, of course, everybody and their mama is picking it up. And I actually am um, giving one away for, for my 50K giveaway. 50K, 5,000, my 5K, 50K, that's by faith, okay? I just said 50K, I'm, that just made me smile. But my 5K giveaway, and I absolutely love this palette. I love everything about this palette. The only thing, I have to say that is missing is a black eye shadow. 
that is the only thing. I only have great things to say about this. It's super creamy. The consistency reminds me a lot of the Lorac eyeshadows, which I absolutely love. That is one of my favorite formulas, but this is super duper creamy. They glide on um, and I didn't get any fallout when I use this. And this is like my go-to. If I was going out of town, I would use this. Why? It's because I could do a warm tone look or I could do a cool tone. And these highlighters, let me just say, these highlighters, Carly did her thing. This is such a classic. This is so me. I'm so glad. Me, you get me, Carly. Girl, you, you got me wrapped up in a palette. This is my go-to palette. This is probably my most mind-blowing palette of 2015. Like this one blew my mind. It blew me out the water. Like I did not expect, this is probably, this is not probably, this is the best palette that BH Cosmetic has come out with. I will say it, yes. I know some people will disagree. They love other palettes, but this in terms of consistency, color choice, pigmentation, just all well round goodness. I just gave you four reasons why you should get it. And I hope it's not limited edition. <sighs> Best palette. Best affordable palette next to the 35O, which I forgot. Let's go to the drugstore. I love the La Palette Nude One. I picked this one up more than the number two. I have both, but I do love this because it actually has warm this is to me a very good kind of reminds you of the naked palette but nothing compares to the naked palette i feel like l'oreal did a really good job on this palette i did do a battle of the drugstore palettes and this one won over the maybelline i just feel like that they did a really good job on a palette 19 dollars um L'Oreal, I feel like it just it should not be this much for that palette just because Carly Babel is $12.50 and it runs circles around that palette. But I I really do like this palette. $20 is a lot for this to me. But I like it. And I'm gonna keep it. Now, this is one of to me. The best palettes in the drugstore. This is the Comfort Zone palette by Wet n Wild. It is amazing. I did use this in an affordable drugstore. And they have this blue brown pigment, a great for a pop of color that actually kind of reminds you of the color that I have on right now. And I really, this is like the blue brown pigment from MAC and just super duper pigmented. It's an amazing palette. I feel like every girl, whether you like high end or drugstore, you need to have that one in your arsenal for sure. Okay, my favorite summer palette this year is definitely the Too Faced Sugar Pop. This one is an underestimated palette. This palette is so gorgeous. Anastasia, World Traveler, this is the best palette that I feel like she's ever come out with. But the other thing I love about Anastasia is that a lot of these palette, a lot of these colors she has on her permanent line. So I can actually do tutorials on this and not feel bad that it's limited edition because you can go out and get the single of the colors. Absolutely love this. This is probably one of my favorite. This is probably in my top three in terms of palettes, high end palettes for sure. I love the colors in here. It has pops of color. It has pops of color. It actually has a black. Thank you, Anastasia, because I think every palette should have a black eyeshadow. And I think her palette is the only one that actually has a black eyeshadow that I'm actually choosing. But I love this and just amazing. Another palette that I don't have in front of me that, but I have to give pay homage to it is the Lorac. Mega Pro 2. That is, to me, one of the best investments in palettes that I've ever made. I really like, like I said, the Lorac consistency of the butteriness of their, of their shadows. I really like, you get a lot of product. I feel like a lot of, you know, eyeshadows are hard. You, it's hard to go 
and hit pan on it. You just have to like constantly go back to. And the Lorac Pro palette, I could just like, if all palettes died, I could just like live with the Lorac Pro because it has warm, it has cool, it has a lot of colors in there that I pull from out of each one of these. So that's one of my favorite, as well as the Morphe 35O. They hit the nail on the head when they made that palette for a warm girl. I feel like the lightest to the fairest will love that palette. That's why it's constantly out of stock, but I had to give it a mention. The other palette, now this is all shimmer. You have your all mattes. Some this year has been known for like shimmer and mattes, but this is an all like metallic palette. And this is the Makeup Forever Artist 2 palette. I love this. This is the artist number nine shadow palette. And I love this palette because you can get these single. This is just a smaller form of the larger one. My favorite color is this green. I gotta do a tutorial with that. That is such a, and this purple. I love these for inner corner colors. And this is a pretty like silver color. But look how Makeup Forever, amazing formulation on their eyeshadows oh, one swipe i'm just saying moving on at a pro 2 my carly bybel and my anastasia and my makeup forever are probably the most pulled for and my 350 so those are kind of like my top five i would say 350 laroc mega pro 2 yes i have swatches on my hand my makeup forever palette Carly Bobel and my Anastasia are on my top five that I have been pulling from nonstop this year. And my sugar pop during the summer. Okay, top six. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks, talk to you soon.